Welcome to the Dummy Kruger channel everyone. Today's video takes us to the Colorado Springs Utilities building located in Colorado. Just one day before being sentenced and landing on a likely lengthy probation stemming from the landmark federal case U.S. v. Cardigan, Denver Metro Audits tries to do two things. First, he thinks he's going to be able to pick up a quick lawsuit like any other good con man. Second, he knows this will bring the attention he seeks, and with that attention comes new viewers, and with those viewers come sweet, sweet donos. Just like a prosecutor mentioned in a recent sentencing statement about DMC, he tries to profit off breaking the law. And why not try to do that one more time right before landing on probation? Before we get started, please take a moment to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, and comment below. Let's jump right in. I think you need to get a life, man. I'm not in here filming people in the Colorado Springs Utilities. I think that's got to I wasn't life. even filming people. I came in and immediately got approached by this guy. Yeah, yeah. And I, and asked you, I didn't even get to film, do my tour of this area here, hey, man. Everyone's entitled to their privacy. This guy right here just freaking grabbed me. Allegedly. If that's a grab, man, you are really a loser. Dude, you tried to grab my camera out of my hand, I man. Move your camera from, from my face. Just no, you fucking grab. grabbed my hand, man. Jeez. Yeah, tell him that he grabbed my camera, man. I moved your camera because I wanted to have a conversation. With okay. When I talk Thank to you people, for admitting like look, it. When I talk to people, I like to look them in the eye. Look at him. Look at him, guys. You're... Look how close he is to me. Look at him. When I talk to people, I like to look them in the eye. I know you don't have the balls to do that. Notice what he does immediately. He leans on the fact that he is live streaming and wants this man to know. Why? Because he's scared and he wouldn't be acting like this without his camera and viewers acting as protection. So you stand behind this camera? It's like your shield? Mm -hmm. yeah, is that what you do? Okay. This is your shield? No, it's not my shield. This I came is, in here. Is this your story, blanket? Man. Is this your blanket? What? Are, why are you so close to me? What are you doing? This is the, the well, example you're setting for your well, kid. If right I get here? a little further, you put that shield in front. You just spit on my eye, man. Back up, off, out of my space. Or what? You leave? Yeah. Tell if me. If you don't like it, you just leave. There he is. He I mean, if I don't like it, leave. He's got a shield in front of him again. Yeah, man. I hope, you better hope that the cops don't come because I'm going to press charges on you, man. That's harassment. Are you? CRS 18-9-111, cool. unwanted yeah. touching. You can't put your hands on people. So the man never touched DMC. He allegedly touched his camera. And I've watched enough of DMC's videos to know this is one of his go-to tactics. He's threatened dozens of people over the years with this harassment CFR, yet it hasn't come to fruition once. I find it odd how much a supposed anarchist wants people to be locked up in a cage for the pettiest of things. I mean, the guy doesn't even know how to anarchy good. How many times have I asked you to stop filming me? Get about, out of my space! How many times? I will defend wait, myself. Wait you, this is your this warning. Is I your will space? defend myself. This is your and I have space? this on camera. You're on a live on the internet okay. right now, man. So you're saying Do this not is touch your space? Me. You're, by coming you? up into my space with the intent to alarm or annoy, that is harassment, no, sir. I'm asking you a question. I'm Why are you, you getting question. so close to me? I was in this building way before you were. It doesn't matter if you were here first, man. You approached me You're and got space. right in my you face. You are filming me. Yeah. I consider that harassment. I, this is actually, you know, you're going to say my protection or my shield. Yes, I'm documenting this now because okay. you've already committed a, a crime so far. <laughs> you're harassing me right so you're now. you're documenting this harassment? Yes. So what okay. kind of their request? Yeah. Are you just a troll? You're a troll. That's a hundred percent what you are. You're a troll. That guy knows it. This guy that thinks guy, he's gonna get. He's gonna it. intimidate me. You're a troll, and you're not gonna deny because you know you're a troll. I'm a troll. Yeah, you're a troll. Okay. Don't touch my camera, man. What are you doing? Camera. And look at that freak out. When I say DMC is the softest auditor out there, I mean DMC is the softest auditor out there. I did Gosh, not man. Dude, you get triggered really easy. Yeah, you know what? I don't like it when people come up and get right in my like face and try like to intimidate me. I don't me when I've asked them not to. You can leave. Why do you get triggered Because so I have the right to record in this area. So and you don't have the right to come up and intimidate me. Can you ask me a question? What makes you get triggered so easy? Is that just because I don't because you're obviously an unstable man and I don't know what you're going to do. That's I'm why I'm triggered. I'm an unstable one. I'm not unstable. Doing that. I don't get triggered nearly as All right, easy. guys, so we are at the Colorado Springs Public Utility here so, in Colorado okay. Springs. And right back to leaning on his viewers. Jury, but you're talking about lawyer. people's privacy? I asked you nicely 
don't come in here and film anybody's checkbook or any of the customers. They're, they're conducting business here, bud. Did I? And, and what did I tell you? You got all crazy. And what did I tell you? Hey, don't. Now we got another one, man. I'm putting my hand in front of the camera. This is no recording in here. I can get you with corporate comm if you would like, but we're gonna ask, kindly ask you to leave. Okay. I mean, you can ask all you want, man, but I'm not leaving. Okay. I'll call the police. Okay. Good. Then wait. After all, yes, okay. sir. Who are you, sir? You're giving me directives. I need you to identify yourself. Yep. I'm the director of security for utilities. How long you been? Uh, how long did you used to work for Allied Security? I used to. Yeah. You know? I don't know anything, man. Okay, I can tell. Told you, you gotta go. And now, he believes he's going to get this woman fired because this prank channel needs content before he goes on probation. And remind me, who is the tyrant here? That's right, it's the softest auditor out there. Hello. You can tell you don't know anything. What's, What's your name? name? My name? Do you have a name? You yeah, I have a name, of course. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. You want to tell me that? Um, you tell me yours first. Nah. No? Nah. You don't want to exchange names? You don't want to exchange IDs? Like Travis Hine? You give me your name, I'll give you mine. Nah, I'm good. How about that? No? Okay. Well, don't expect me to give me your name if you're not going to give me your name. I'm not going to give you my name. Okay, I'm not going to give you mine. And when the cops come here, I'm not going to give them my ID either. Okay? The only, way, the only way that I'm leaving out of this building right here by force is if in handcuffs, ma'am. You okay. understand that? Yeah. Sounds like a good time. Yeah. And handcuffs he will be met with. He's done this three times now, and he's currently sitting 0 for 3 on his charges. That's a hell of a batting average. Let's jump ahead to see that arrest. Okay. Is your preference for him to leave? He's on the here. Okay. So, all right. Yes, sir. I'm Corporal Wilbering. I'm a Colorado Springs police officer. Um, the gentleman in charge of the buildings made it clear that you're not welcome here. Um, this is what's called public private, so it's open to the public. You can come in, you can conduct business. Um, if you don't have a reason to be here and you're not conducting business, they can ask you to leave at that point. Okay. You're the um, corporal. Yes. Okay. Um, he's made it clear that you're no longer welcome here if you've finished business. So I'm going to give you, it is now 147. I'll give you till 150 to leave the premises. Okay. So. I like this officer. He put DMC on a timer like a parent has to do with an unruly child. The officer has only been there for approximately one minute, yet somehow knows the intellectual capacity of DMC right away. Okay. Well, uh, before you go, uh, let me just explain to you that you, you don't know that I, oh, can I talk? I, I didn't interrupt you the whole time. I let you say your whole thing. Let me respond to you, okay? The 150 is, is a hard deadline, okay? okay? I want so you I, to understand you're using I, I your understand time. that. We can continue the conversation on the sidewalk if you like. Okay. So uh, you're interrupting my time. So what I, okay, we're back, guys. So uh, <sighs> this is a public space, man, okay? You can't tell me, they can't just ask me to leave public property okay now if i was causing a disruptance or i committed a crime then you can arrest me how on earth is it possible they're still saying this it's simply mind-blowing at this point or you can trespass me but you can't trespass in the state of colorado without committing a crime from a public space okay i'm here for legitimate business i'm here as an independent citizen journalist i was gathering content for a story i was going to get some pamphlets i do have legitimate business here no, you don't. You can pretend like you do by collecting all the little pamphlets you like, but your ultimate goal is to find and cause a confrontation. Again, I told, I told everyone, I'm not leaving this place. If you want to violate my rights and you want to be uh, listed on a lawsuit, man, that's fine. That's up to you. Can I get your card too? Yep. He's also threatened this dozens of times, and as of today, there still has been no lawsuit filed against anyone. You're a corporal, man. You look like you're a pretty seasoned officer here. And you don't understand that you you don't have uh, forty nine. You don't understand that you can't trespass from public property. You don't understand that. You don't understand that you can't trespass from public property unless I commit a crime, Corporal. It's one fifty. You are now being detained for the crime of trespass. I'm going to okay. issue you a citation. 
Set the camera down. Put your hands behind your back. Okay, hold on. Let me just move this. Get this so that it doesn't get messed up. All right, guys, I'm getting arrested right now. He is putting me in handcuffs. Put your hands behind your back. And it wouldn't be a fake audit if there wasn't a fake threat. Let's see those. We'll be receiving a summons for trespass, okay? Okay. You just made a big mistake, man. You're going to be sued. You understand that, right? Qualify, you're not going to get qualified immunity for this. I'm going to have to sue you personally for arresting me and violating my rights. Do you swear to no? <laughs> your rights, man. Why would you do that? Did you call one I did. Why would you why would you swear an oath to protect my rights and violate my rights like that? We're gonna go on so there was talk during their conversation at the end that there would be a site and release with the summons. As of right now, he hasn't updated anyone on his current status, nor is he showing up on any inmate searches. Please check my community tab as I'll be posting an update there when I have more information. As for his sentencing tomorrow in US vs. Cardigan, please also be on the lookout for that because I plan to cover it promptly. Alright guys, I think that's where we're going to wrap up today's video. Please remember to subscribe, like, and comment below. This is Dummy Kruger, and I'll see you guys on the next video.